G'day guys, I am back with another guide video. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Grosh Room, the Rainmaker, and the Bee. So you can improve your harvest when you are farming. First and foremost, we are going for the Grow Shroom. This one's relatively easy to get. A uh, bit of RNG involved, obviously. Uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the deviants do have RNG. I've noticed. Let me show you the deviant we after we after the Grow Shroom works inside the territory can proactively plant and harvest. Very good, because it kind of just does the work for you. It's great. Where you want to go is north of the Sunbury Middle School is this cave system. It is deceptively large and it goes all the way around here. Absolutely massive cave system. And it is just to the west of Myers Market. You're going to want to come in here from the hole that is right next to the teleporter, right where I'm standing, and you're going to want to start harvesting mushrooms. Holy hell, we got it on the first mushroom. Okay, well, I am going to continue to show you the other mushrooms. Uh, because this is a deceptively large K, and I want to make sure that you guys don't miss out before changing worlds to uh, try the cave again. Over here, we got another one and another one. You might think that this is the end of the cave, but as I keep... Uh, saying, uh, I guess, um, this is, this is a big cave. It's a big cave. Over here is even more cave. And with more cave comes more mushrooms. You'll have four more here. Moving on up. You'll have one here. This is a exit. You do not need to go that way. There is two here that you can loot. And then there is one just here. Oh, that actually, that's two. And then moving on, another one. As you can see, there is a lot of mushrooms in this cave. Every mushroom has a chance of dropping the gross room. And that is what we want. Having more gross rooms... Uh, will of course be beneficial because it will allow you to keep harvesting and keep planting uh, even when you're not even online which is lovely another little side bit this is the only place that i've ever seen capybaras in the entire game yeah okay it's gonna get a bit bit dark on it there we go some light Oh, no, there is two. I didn't think there were two there. Keeping on going. Very big cave. I don't believe there's any up there. Keep on going. There's one there. Grab that. Grab that. And grab that. I believe that's all of them. Oh, no, there's a few more here. And there's a few on the cliff side. But that's basically it. That is for the mushrooms in this area. Good luck finding your grocery room. Okay, on to the next one. Let's go check it out. Okay, we are at our next location now. We are going to be looking for the Rain Man. Works inside the territory. Yeah, words are hard. Works inside the territory can cause rainfall around him to help crops grow. This guy is amazing. He can manage up to three plots before starting to have issues. So if you are having a very large farm, I suggest having multiple of him or your own sprinkler system. Now, the way to get the rain man is to kill umbrella monsters. The best place I have found uh, that is close proximity to a spawn, which is directly south of Mayor's Market, on these docks right here. Ugh. The... Clear the area. The umbrella should be right here. There she is. Every single umbrella or rainfall 
Reaper has a chance of dropping. Yeah, what the hell? Has a chance of dropping the Raymaker. We are not lucky this time. Unfortunately, it will drop from their loot. So uh, be sure to check that. Now you can just drive back up to town, reset, and then drive back down. That is the easiest one I've found so far. I'm sure there's other locations for the umbrella, but that is the easiest one uh, I've found. On to the next one. Okay, on to the next one. We are going to be hunting the Buzzy Bee. Works in the territory to increase crop production. Now, as far as I understand, this increases the grow rate of crops, but also increases the chance that one of them will be a deviated crop, uh, similar to one of these, for example, deviated wheat. So, we are located at Deadsville, and we are going to Citrus County. This is probably the easiest one to farm. Um, there is... Well, there has been reports of them uh, appearing at pretty much every single farm, but I'm going to show you exactly where this one spawns uh, in proximity to the town because it is the closest one to a waypoint. It'll allow you to jump between worlds if it is not currently available on your world. Now, just up here, we are looking for a white... Hands, and there it is. Probably, I could probably get a little bit closer. You want to drive over here, and right here is where it spawns, right where I'm standing. Now, unfortunately, it is not here currently, but this is where you want to go look for it. As you can see, other people. Uh, are saying it is spawning here. This is where I found mine, and uh, this is where, well, a lot of people find theirs because of the proximity. That is it. That is the three deviants you are after. If you like this content, if this was helpful to you, please do leave a like and comment, uh, especially comment because it really, really does help the algorithm uh, push the videos and reach more people. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye-bye!